Hi everyone, I am Akshat Kaushik. I was AIR 1 in KVPY SX batch 2018 and here I am to discuss what to do on the last day of the exam and everything that happens during the exam because I am pretty sure you have done so much preparation for KVPY so but here I am going to discuss the same things that the aspirants last day mein kisi aur reason se bhool jate So, let's rewind to exam day. Night before the exam day. So, as I'm sure आप लोगों को भी पहले से पता होगा कि exam के एक रात पहले हमें anxiety के बहुत prone होते हैं हम लोग. And uh, if we subside to that anxiety, we can very easily give up our time or even sleep. And let me tell you, हम लोग uh, we try and we prepare for exam for two years. But if you're not able to get your sleep on that last night, you'll end up uh, decreasing your efficiency by a lot. So, last day of exam, my strategy was that I can optimize my sleep as well as possible. If you have a routine of going to sleep, let's say, 12 a.m. every night and sleeping for 8 hours, my advice would be that you should go to sleep 2 hours earlier than that. Because uh, on the bed, uh, last day of the exam or last night of the exam, people usually are not able to fall asleep. And uh, going to bed early will help you cope up with that anxiety that you can come at that time. And uh, many children think that last day mein padhai should be the most important thing but my strategy was to not even pick up a book because everything, every preparation that you have to do you have already done in the last two years and in the last few hours of the exam or the last few hours of the night before the exam my advice would be to just make sure your mental state is as calm as possible and go to bed as soon as possible and by chance if you're not able to fall asleep, if you feel like you want to talk to someone or you want to study, my advice would be to talk to your parents, talk to anyone in your family or friends, whoever you reach out to whenever you are feeling anxious. Morning of the exam. So let's say you get up uh, early or even at schedule on the day of the exam. The first thing that you have to do is make sure you do everything that you used to every day without getting caught up ki aaj aapka exam hai, aapka kya hoga. Usse zyada important ki aapki jo bhi routine aap normal days pe follow karte the, let's say aapke coaching mein koi exam hota tha, ya you had just any other mock test, whatever you used to do on those, those days, you should continue doing them right now. Because usi tarah aapka mental state ekdam calm rahega and you will be able to continue doing whatever you did in those last exams. And uh, my advice would be to take breakfast because obviously Hungry, being hungry is the last thing you need during the exam and make sure you know where the center is at least a day beforehand. You have to calculate where your center is, how much time you can expect to get there and you should plan accordingly to that so that you get enough sleep and you can reach the exam center on time. Reaching the exam center. So I had planned that my center is how far from my house and how much time it would take to reach me. So I left accordingly that I will have ample amount of time to reach there and get settled down so I wouldn't be stressed before starting the exam. And I'm, I advise all of you to do that. You know your center first and you should obviously go and check ki what are the things available there, what kind of travel you can expect to get there. And once you reach there, uh, the biggest problem or the biggest uh, mistake I see people doing is interacting with anyone and everyone they can. Uh, I'm sure you all know that there are a lot of different types of people at the exam center. Some are there not as a goal but as a hobby. They treat the exam like a hobby because it not matter for them. Then there are other people who are easily stressed out and they'll make sure they do that to you also. So my advice would be to make sure you keep all those thoughts in your mind that you have planned for the day ahead. You go there and you wait to get inside without interacting or at least interacting as less as possible with everyone. Because some people will try to make sure you are stressed, some people will try to make sure you uh, go and do something wrong. And some people will try to show you that they have prepared more than anyone else. So there are every and different kinds of people and just to be sure and just to stay in the same mental state you are, try to interact as less as possible. I would also like to suggest ki all the possible things you can do before entering the exam, you should do so that under ja ke your only mental goal will be to make sure to ace the exam as best as possible. Getting the question paper. 
So since KVPO is an online exam, as I sat down to uh, start the paper, there were still a few minutes left for the paper to get started. And uh, the first thing I did was analyze the environment, kaha kaha cameras lage hain, mere agal bagal ke students kya kar rahe hain. And that is a very natural human thing to do. But my advice would be to make sure aap apne aap ko kitna calm and composed rakh sakte ho us time pe. Because once the exam gets started, you will have that adrenaline rush inside you and you will start to forget all the strategies and all the practices you thought you would maintain during the exam. So those five to ten minutes you have before the, actually the question paper starts or is given to you or is released online, my advice would be to just close your eyes and maintain a calm emotional state. And when the actual uh, exam was released and it was online, the first thing I did was to uh, open the first subject I wanted to solve, which was chemistry, and I read the whole question paper. And since it's an online exam, the I had an extra feature of marking the questions I thought were a little hard or I would give another thought later on. So I marked them in the first place. And secondly, what I would advise all of you to do is to make sure you know what rough pages you are getting. Because uh, in some centers there are uh, regulations ki they will give you only a limited amount of rough papers. So make sure you find all of that in advance so that it does not induce some stress or some situation that you are not able to cope up with later on. So when the question paper is finally released, my advice would be to whatever strategy you have planned, you think about physics, karne ka socho, chemistry, socho, math, socho, bio, socho, whatever you have planned, make sure you stick to it with a calm state and whatever question you think is very difficult in the beginning you see and you get scared, make sure you just mark and move on so that you can come back to it later. Paper attempting strategy. So now I'm, I will discuss ki maine exactly paper ko kis strategy mein diya tha, which subjects I did first and in what order did I follow them. So here we have the paper and as you can see the pattern of the paper in SX, the paper that I gave, the SX batch, uh, there are a total of four subjects, physics, chemistry, maths and bio and uh, there are two sections. Section A, as you can see in the beginning, it has 20 questions each of uh, each subject, so a total of 80 questions and section B has 10 questions each and uh, all the subjects are not compulsory to attempt. You can attempt uh, three subjects in section A and two subjects in section B. So obviously since I was a PCB student, I was aiming for NEET. I uh, did physics, chemistry and bio in the section first and I did chemistry and bio in section B. So let's move ahead. Within physics, chemistry and bio, first of all what I did was chemistry because I felt it was my favorite subject. I wa it was my strength and that's why I wanted to get done with it as soon as possible. So let's move to the chemistry part of the paper. And as you can see, the difficulty level of KVPY is a little on the uh, difficult side, it's a little on the higher side. And uh, as you can see in the previous papers, in the mock papers, I'm sure you know that you have to prepare a little harder for this. And uh, again, like I have always mentioned, that any question that makes you feel ki ye wala shayad mere liye mushkil create karega or I will take more time to solve it, you should mark it, you should mark it even in the desktop and move ahead with it. And when we come to section B, my advice would be to not decide it in advance ki which two subjects you are going to solve. Make sure you skim through the paper of the main three subjects and you will yourself decide that which two subjects or which questions of the two subjects are more acceptable or more understandable to you. And then you can make a very good decision ki haan, section B mein, uh, out of physics, chemistry and bio or physics, chemistry and maths, I feel like physics and chemistry are my best two options to go ahead with. So this is the decision I would not want you to take in advance. Make sure you read the paper of section B, read the questions, analyze and then make sure which two subjects you are going to solve. For me, I started with chemistry, then I proceeded to physics and then bio for section A and I started with bio of section B and then I moved on to chemistry. So that was all about the paper attempting strategy. Now I'll also talk about the interview, the day before the interview or the strategy to give the interview because that is also a very important stage in clearing the KVPY exam. So I remember when I was selected for my KVPY interview, I talked to a few people who have given it before and uh, the, my personal experience was that you should treat it like any other interview, whether it is a job interview or it is an exam interview. And what that entails is that you should be properly groomed for it. You should make sure you have the proper etiquettes. And uh, because it is a real life social scenario, it has more to do with what you are going to, 
how you're going to perform rather than how much knowledge you have. So my advice would be to make sure you have all the right uh, grooming, all the right uh, etiquettes. You should treat your examiner that way. And whatever questions they ask you, if you know them very well, you should go ahead and explain that as best as you can. But just in case if you don't know them, those examiners are much, much, much senior to you. So don't, don't try to explain it in a very different way or in a way that you don't know. You should simply accept your mistake and you should tell them that, sir or ma'am, I don't know and we can move to the next question. This way, being honest with them, you can make sure you get the best marks possible, you, graded, you are graded in a very truthful way by the examiners. So I believe that was my unique point and that's why the, examiner the examiners treated me in a very good way because I was honest with them and I had the proper etiquettes of an interview. The interview of KVPY exam is taken by high-end graduates and professors of science colleges. So the type of questions they ask you are mostly intellectual and concept-based and they don't want to check how much memory or how much facts you have memorized. So uh, the kind of questions that I was asked had a lot to do with the advancements in the biotechnology field recently and also uh, in the chemical bonding concepts of chemistry which is a very conceptual chapter. So uh, my advice would be to again stick to your confidence, stick to your strengths and whatever you, whatever topics you are not comfortable with, try to explain that to the examiner and also try to take the interview in whatever direction you prefer because as the interviewee you have a power to lead the uh, examiner in whatever points you have a strength in, you have extra knowledge in. So that is the strategy I followed in my interview of KVPY. Once I was done with the KVPY interview and the examiners asked me to go, I greeted them in a very uh, manful way. I told them that uh, it was a very nice experience for me and as a humor part, I also asked them how did I perform, to which obviously every one of them laughed and they said that uh, we are not supposed to tell you that. But I believe it was a very comical way to end the interview and I uh, exited the interview with some confidence that I have done well. Finishing the paper. So KVPY is a three hour long exam and while it is a lengthy exam, I would uh, suggest that you should spare at least the last 15 to 20 minutes for all the questions you have marked to be hard or uh, lengthy in the initial phase. And my finishing the paper strategy was to make sure I go through the uh, questions I have marked to be hard or uh, rechecked first not go through the paper totally because that might uh, be very less efficient for you that might take up a lot of time so my advice would be to make sure you uh, mark all the questions you want to revisit at the end of the paper and spare at least 20 minutes for revisiting them since it's an mcq and it's also online you don't have you have the option to change your answers which is a very good thing in my opinion and uh, once you are done with your paper once you have submitted my uh, suggestion would be to just make sure you realize that it is an unchangeable thing, you have done it and there is no point further thinking about it and you should make sure again you go back to the same calm and composed state that you were before starting the exam. Coming out of the exam hall. So once I got done with my paper and I started exiting the campus, uh, everyone else was also done and there was a whole crowd of people discussing how the paper went, what questions they found to be hard, what sections they found to be hard and there was obviously a lot of opinions travelling here and there. My advice would be, depending on the kind of circle you have, depending on the kind of emotional state you have, you should at least try to avoid these conversations as much as, much as possible. Because what you need to realise is that you have prepared for 2-3 years for the exam, ke liye, Wo din abhi chuka hai and whatever had to happen has already happened. So uh, anything, uh, any overthinking from, now, from this point will only lead to stress for you and you should try to enjoy this time jahan you have prepared kiya hai and you have given it in the best way you, have, you, have, you could and now you have a few days to actually remain calm and enjoy your life and that should start from the moment you submit your exam. So make sure you treat yourself after the exam, make sure you know that whatever the result will be, you will be fine, you will be okay with it, you will decide later on. But the time between the result and the actually submitting the exam should be a time of happiness and a stress-free time for you. So to, in order to ensure that, my advice would be, as you exit the campus, just uh, go to your guardian, go to your uh, travel option and just make sure you go to your home as soon as possible without interacting 
or at least interacting as less as possible with people and not let their opinions come in your mind ki yaar maine ye question galat to nahi kar diya did i do that section wrong did i skip something or could i have done better that is, those are the thoughts you would definitely want to avoid as you are exiting the campus final result so on the day when the kvpi result was declared i remember uh, during the time when it was declared i was actually giving another exam in my coaching and uh, once i exited the class and uh, i checked my phone i saw there was a, a few there were a few messages from my circle who are also preparing for kvpi and neat and it was full of congratulations i had no idea because to be honest i did not remember ki aaj ke vpi ka result aane wala tha so i had no idea what the congratulations was for and then i opened them and i saw kvpi so i, I again they did not mention the rank so i was like theek hai top 5 top 10 kuch hoga let's see and when i went on to the portal and i checked my name was on the first rank and it was a very good experience and the first thing i did was i ran to my coaching director and i told them i called my parents and it was a very fun time it was a very joyous time for me I gave this exam because I was very curious about it. I wanted to and but I never expected to actually score AIR 1 in it. And when the result did come, all of, all of my uh, teachers, my parents, everyone was just so proud and happy and I was also happy about it. So it was a very good day and good time in my life and I uh, I am very nostalgic about it and uh, the result was a very good experience overall. Well, this brought back so many memories for me and I feel very nostalgic. but now that uh, you know my paper attempting strategy i am sure you are very confident about the things i did or i did not do to make sure i gave the best paper i could and with that i would want you to go ahead and try your uh, strategy on the unacademy test series you can use the code ctwt for a 10% discount on all your subscriptions and uh, test your all your strategies and i would also like to tag another topper of very great friend of mine uh, amulya gupta and you can learn from him what all worked for for him and what all did not work for him on the day of kvpy exam that's a wrap for today all the best